number six, yes. 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 which I like. Yeah. Yes. All right, Natalie, what is the most different aspect of yourself do you think on this show that might have been different than other jobs? Well, you know, I think I get to show all sides of Natalie Morales, and there are a lot of sides, you know. I think. <laughs> <laughs> there is the Latina, you don't cross the Latina side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think that's what's so great. It's a show that it's driven by your personality, by your opinions, which I have plenty of, um, which in news you can't necessarily do as much. So, And, Jerry, I mean, we've known each other since we were at least teenagers. I mean, yeah. young. Uh, wow. Very young. Uh, Very you, young. You will never remember this. We met at a gas station on Sunset Boulevard and you were filling up next to me and I wasn't going to say anything. And you said, hey, uh, you're you're an actor, right? And I went, yeah, I'm Jerry O'Connell. And you said you were and, and, and you said, you know, you're you were a young actor because I was in Stand By Me. And I said, yeah, I, I was. I said, actually, Drew, I, I just moved here. You said, hey, welcome to L.A. And you gave me your phone number and you said, let me know if you need anything. Literally, before there were cameras or a TV show, this is one of the most giving people. In the, yes. I mean, someone who just gave me. I mean, I remember when you and your brother Charlie would, like, I come know. to my birthday parties. Yes. Like, we did become friends. It wasn't just, like... You yeah. know, I'm not, I hate that fluffy stuff. I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Like, we, we knew each other and hung hard. I just got to say, though, I just watched this clip of you giving your wife, the beautiful Rebecca Romaine, sure. a lap dance. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. I am not kidding, Jerry. What is That's... going on here? Why are you so sexy? I feel okay. uncomfortable <laughs> because you're a married man. <laughs> not <laughs> not <laughs> as you go yeah. down the like, yeah. Okay, I'm much older than I used okay. to be, Drew. Hold on a okay. second. Here we go. We were young at that quickly. gas station. And then there's somebody like this where I come up here and we do a oh, oh. So sorry. I want to apologize. I want to apologize to the Drew HR department. You better, you better apologize to the wife. There was no touching. Mag Magic Mike Live taught me properly. Yes. There was no touching yes. there. But was Rebecca pleased? <laughs> um, let me just put it this way. Um, this is how the audience got We uh, We sent our kids on a sleepover that oh. night. All right. Someone with a slow libido. <laughs> I'm so thrilled to hear it. Yeah. Speaking of libido, Cheryl, mm -hmm. is it true that you were a lingerie model? Yes. Wait, wow. What? He got some good producer detectives. Yes. Yes, um, we do, by the way. Yes. They're amazing. What, Cheryl? Um, we, I, we don't have a video or pictures, but like, what was that experience like? Well, thank God there wasn't cameras and social media back then. But, <laughs> I don't but yes, I was a lingerie model, and you would um, model the lingerie, and then the gentleman would purchase it, and then you'd have to give it to them. But I was, Off your body? Yes, and I was horrible at it, so I started making them laugh, and they would go, oh, you're, you're hilarious, but you don't need to do this anymore. And that's how I got deeper into comedy. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. Yeah. All right, so, Amanda, you, like, you're just an amazing mom. Oh, you have this thanks, beautiful son. Oh, thank you. And, you know, his incredible dad oh. and, you know, your son, Elvis. Do you see him going into, you know, his father, Nick's career? Are you excited about that? How does that feel? <laughs> I mean, he is just uh, the light of my life. I love this little kid so much. And he, you know, he was conceived in New Orleans, born right here in New York City, not too far from your studio, and raised in Laurel Canyon. I mean, he has music in his bones. I mean, yeah. like this kid, he loves to play the drums. He loves to sing. He loves the guitar. And I mean, I just kind of feel like I just want to love him and support him, whatever he wants to do in life. You know what I mean? It's all we can do is just to be there to support and, and help them on their journey, whatever it is. I know, look at him at the piano playing. Just his like innate love for it, you know? I mean, just love for music. And I love music. And of course, my late husband loved music. So I just, I love that it's in our house every day, that he plays it, that he sings it. And that I, you know, we just, it bonds us together. And it's, it's beautiful. I mean, you know, when you're a mom yes. and you see your kid happy, it's the best in the entire it's world. All, it's all that matters. Yeah. I'm, yeah. And Akbar, speaking of family, yeah. 
Is it true that you do some competitions with your family and they sound really fun, like inspired yeah. fun, like we all need to put it into application? Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm a competitive person. I grew up with six brothers, uh, one sister, um, and, you know, it's, it's a very competitive household. Um, and then played sports. And then, of course, you know, hosting American Ninja Warrior along with doing the talk. And I just want to create an environment where my kids can, A, be competitive, but also have fun. So, um, and that's something I wanted to show uh, on my social media. But, you know, this came really through the, the pandemic, especially. This was heightened during the pandemic. It's like, man, how do I keep these kids entertained? Yep. You know, I and mean, then it just started was, to grow. That and was so, the And dilemma. my kids love it. Yeah, and my kids love it. There was something like about Oreos, like landing in like yeah. hot sauce or this. Yeah, or I got the barbecue sauce. That's not a fun combination. <laughs> if you, Oreos and barbecue sauce just don't go. Uh, but surprisingly... Oreos and mustard, mustard is not. Yeah, is, yeah because is, we did. Good. Yeah. Mine landed on yeah. mustard. It's yeah. Really good. Yeah. The mustard you is good. You guys did pizza salad. Yes. Sure. Yes. 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 I'm not That's kidding. Right. I felt yes. 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 so. Yes. 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 I was like, yes. and it was delicious. We loved it. And it was delicious. Yeah. Explain what pizza salad is. Okay, pizza salad is this. It's everything on the top of the pizza, on top of a salad. Get all the toppings and the cheese and then lay it on top of a bed of crunchy iceberg. Yes. And you guys did it on your yes. show. I was like, yeah, I that's did right. it. I was like, I have arrived. That's true. I have to say, because we all love pizza. In terms of inventions, I mean, literally, it goes like light bulb pizza, pizza salad. salad. <laughs> like right there.